Um, this is my first time going to be riding in an Evo. Uh, this is my buddy John. What's up, man? He's doing me a huge favor, and we're just going to be driving around. Uh, so, tell me a little bit about your Evo. Honestly, it's been um, pretty stock the most of the time I've had it until I blew my turbo recently over last summer and that's pretty much when everything just kind of escalated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But right now I did a turbo upgrade after I blew it. Um, basic bolt-ons, nothing too crazy. Can't give out the secrets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to hear? Uh, how long have you had it? Um, it's about since 2011. Okay. With 68 miles right now, it's at like 135. And yeah, I kid you not, like it's been stock since maybe about 100k. All right. So, all right. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I apologize for the audio if it comes out a little shitty, just because. You guys already know my situation with it. We're going to be trying our best. And he has a pretty loud exhaust for us, what you guys can hear. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Well, we're just going to have fun. So. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's the funny thing. I've never been in an all-wheel drive turbo yet. I'm gonna fucking smile like a little girl at a candy <laughs> store right now, man. This is so sick, man. I love this. I love this. So, what's your favorite thing about this car? I feel like, to me, it's the boost. It's always been the boost for me. Cause, the boost? Like you said, dude, it just, that smile on your face every single time you hear that blow up out. Dude, I'm not even driving it. Suction. And I hear it. <laughs> just hear the wastegate just going. Just, yeah, I still remember like it was like eighth grade. My buddy, his older brother, actually had an Evo 8 when they first came out. He picked us up from school, and I kid you not, dude, when I heard that, I fell in love. Like it was like right there, love at first sight. Oh damn! What's well, something you dislike? <laughs> you dislike that you would um, want to change? Let's see. I feel like, dang, that's a tough one. <laughs> For this car, I'd say it's the surprises. I mean, it's any other car owner's like thing though. I mean, you break something, you fix it, repeat, you know, it's kind of like, for me, I've always had like shitty situations where I'll be stuck out, like out of nowhere. Just, oh, damn. Just cause of, yeah, either my car won't start. I guess electrical issues is one of them, but it could just be my car. I had like starter issues. I shorted out my battery two times over the summer last summer, so I got stranded at my cousin's place, at a gas station, and at O'Reilly's parts while I was trying to fix it. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. So electrical issues might be one of them, but like I said, it could be my bad, could be any car guy, like, any car guy's worst nightmare. But other than that, dude, it's a fun learning experience, like just modifying the car. I pretty much did like mostly everything. So really, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I haven't done, what I got done, was my clutch. But I mean, I just didn't have time to get. Yeah, I, I, I feel. I, I think I know what you mean. So how much are you pushing? Um, right now I haven't got it dynoed yet. I've got it street tuned, and I think just from what he pulled out from the um, from his data on his computer. It's about a little over 360-ish to the wheels. To so, the wheels. Yeah, it's not too bad. So you're pushing like around 385, 390 at the crank, almost four, yeah. right? Yeah, it's on 91. Okay. I haven't okay. even got my 85 tune yet. Are you planning on going to 85? Yeah, it's pretty much set up already. I got like the injectors and fuel pump for it. Shit. Already set up. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a nice watch. It's actually a shout out to Artie Engineering, Ronnie Diaz. <laughs> that guy, like, dude, he does crazy work. Right now he's doing um, mainly GTRs and he's getting up there in like supercars, dude. Is that where you were at? Yeah. The other day? Okay. Yeah. So, 
he, whenever he has time, he'll he'll hook us hook us up. Cause I mean, he started off with like Evos, Eclipses. Um, he's known for his like GSX back in the day. Okay. Like, yeah. But yeah. I'm just on the lower Make a, make a left right here. Now. You're lowered too. Yeah. What do you lower? How much? How, how much are you lowered? Um, I'd say about like an inch. Inch all around. Yeah. Yeah. You know what They're, springs you um, H&R Springs. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Planning on going cold soon or that? Yeah, I want to. Um, I've just been, like, focused more on, like, uh, the motor work lately, but eventually I want to get coils and either do a setup with wheels and knock out two birds with one stone right there. I get you. Yeah. Okay. So it's probably the best spot if you want to do a quick pull. Yeah. Let me go ahead and... I might be over exaggerating right now, but you guys got to remember I drive a Civic Si and this is a fucking Evo <laughs> so I Mean I don't even know how else to react to that. That's fucking fast. Oh My god, okay <laughs> And you just killed the bug <laughs> Go for it I'm like a fucking girl having an orgasm right now. They're like, I can't help but smile. This is so fun. Dude, I can see why this is this is one of those iconic cars that people just love to have. And it's funny because people, when people want to go think of all-wheel drive boost, the first thing you think of is Evo or Subaru. That's the first thing people always think of. And to this day, it's still a battle of should I get an Evo or should I get a WRX? Yeah. Should I get that? Or, you know, like it's it's still that battle. Sadly enough, Mitsubishi got rid of the Evo. The last one you can get is the final edition. I think it's 2015 Evo 10. Yeah. But exactly. even so, like, these cars are just meant to be driven like that. You should make a right. right. Yeah. These cars are just meant to be driven like that, and it's just so intoxicating just being in the passenger seat. Careful with the tra uh, railroad tracks. True. All right, well. Whenever you're ready to pull over for a bit, and then I'll jump on the driver's seat. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't stall the first time. <laughs> nah, you'll be good, man. Yeah, it's got a ACT HDSS clutch on here. Okay. Right now. It's not, it's actually, I prefer it more than stock. My stock one was like a little too like stiff and bouncy, but this really? one feels nice, yeah. Okay. The pedals are so close together. Yeah. You can heel toe like no other. Like crazy. <laughs> okay, so. Woo! Yeah, that spring just came back. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. It's right really smooth. <laughs> I like this. This is really nice. Although I would have to get used to your side mirrors. Yeah. My friend Kevin has that too. And his are like a little bit longer because yours are like little Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, yeah. But uh Yeah, there's something else. <laughs> hey man. It's it looks good, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's just the color that freaks me the fuck out. The tinted blue? Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if it has any purpose or for looks or <laughs> night shade, like you know, at night when you drive it, you get that glare. Yeah. Is that was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! It just like. Yeah, I start um, boost building up boost around four thousand. So that's like, yeah, once you hit four thousand, just dump it, dude. Just hit it. Fuck, dude. 
I got scared. I was like, fuck, did I hit something on the road? Oh, it's a fucking... Yeah, and it's, I don't really like flooring it in other people's cars just because it's not mine, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just one of those things. This but car I mean, is meant to do it, so go for oh it, Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I, I've had plenty just in the passenger seat, dude. Believe me. <laughs> something I can get used to. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Very like, first. oh my God. to this car to maintain its reliability but I mean it's all that maintenance that you got to do to it I mean like any other car you abuse it you got to maintain it you know yeah so always checking your fluids always checking up on the engine bay like everything um, as far as that goes though once something does break or when I do have the cash I do want to build the head um, that's my next goal because I feel like cams are gonna be a fun little thing to have on oh, here. Oh, dude, cams <laughs> is most definitely going to yeah. be a fun thing to have. So I'll probably do cams, head studs, uh, struts and retainers, and I don't know. I heard the block is, <laughs> it could meet five easily. Really? The wheels, yeah. So we'll see. I'll test that first and okay. go from there. I mean, yeah, nothing too crazy. I, I wish I could just, like, from here on, just work on cosmetics and make it look <laughs> nice, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I feel you, dude. But, yeah. I'm just the typical college student <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a baller budget with this Evo. Hey, man. It's whatever gets whatever gets the job done. <laughs> right? Uh, and I can't complain. I'm already enjoying this car as it is, you know? <laughs> so. All right. Well, that was really fun. Five Evo 8. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for another video. Stay classy. Peace. Water. Water. Damn, he fucking hates. He's getting me. so pissed off. <laughs> Just because you have friends over doesn't mean you can play with me. Water? 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 Larry, water? Water? He's like, fuck off. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> yeah. He's pissed. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why he's such a stuck up little brat. Because when we walk away, he'll start talking to grasp our attention. 